What up, people? It's your boy Woody Triple Two coming at you with another video, real quick. I got some pickups. Uh, what else do I got? Some opinions and just some shit I'm interested in. I do want to bring one thing up first, real quick, though. I am going to do a short with my daughter. I just want to, um, not expose, but just put out this girl's knowledge. She's 10 years old and she has a lot of G.I. Joe knowledge. So I just wanted, I came up with a little idea in my head of me like quizzing her and her answering questions. And it's not pre, -re she's not gonna have the notes and all that stuff. This girl knows this stuff. So I just wanted to kind of showcase that because I'm very proud of my 10 year old daughter and how she has just latched on to G.I. Joe classified with me. It's nice to have some real person in real life to share this with because as many of us know we don't have people we can just go talk to and about collecting and everything it's just not out there a lot of it comes from youtube and creating friends from like social media and all that kind of stuff so it's just nice to have somebody that you can actually talk to face to face with this kind of about this kind of stuff but anyway back to the hoodie man because We've had some nice summer weather the last couple of days in Rhode Island, 80 degrees. Now it's back down to 54 and rainy all day. So when it's cold, it's not hell out there. I'm used to cold, but anybody from any other part of the country is going to be like, this is freezing. So I just want to put out there that global warming is a thing, man. I don't want to get into a big discussion about it, but it has to be because this wouldn't have happened 30 years ago it doesn't go from 80 to 50 overnight i mean yeah there's some kind of freak weather things but that's just how i feel about it and we're not going to talk about that anymore so but anyway let's get into these pickups i was out with my daughter my youngest yesterday my oldest like i said she's a gamer she's not into toys and she should be because she's all into anime so i, I have bought her a couple you know they got the statues and and stuff like that she's more into that kind of stuff but she's all about gaming and, and anime so but i was out I don't. we don't have ross around here we don't have a lot of these discount stores that i see in other people's videos so if you find a good pickup at ross and there's two of them think of your boy I'll definitely take it. You don't even have to text me. If it's something you think I would like, grab two. I'll take one of them off your hands. I'm just a figure junkie. So as long as it's one of the lines I collect and stuff like that, I'm in. But anyway, I'm out. We got Marshalls around here and we got um, Burlington Coat Factory. That's the only like discount toy stores we got around here. And their sections are very small. But I just happened to pop in there yesterday. I'm out doing errands with my... My youngest, we went a little on a little toy hunt and she's into vinyl. So we went on a little bit of a vinyl hunt for her. But last stop of the day, I'm like, we're heading down back home all from Mass all through Massachusetts and stuff. So I'm like, oh, let's stop at this Burlington. I just stop in there, random stop. They had no toys, shelf shelves were bare. But then I glance over and I see this guy, which I I have these. But I left them on card because they're just so beautiful to me on card. But I always wanted another set to open up, so I finally got it. This fantastic four thing. I mean, five ninety nine. You can't beat this at Burlington Co Factory. And what's crazy is they had the whole wave, so one stop shop. I wanted them all to open up. You gotta have a fantastic four display, especially with that new. Uh, I pre-ordered that Silver Surfer from Hasbro, so he'll go with these guys. That Marvel Legends Silver Surfer was dope. So I got the thing. Oh my bad, I got a pick over here. I was out picking my fro earlier. Just you gotta comb through the fro every now and then to make sure it doesn't get all uh, naughty. And like my mother used to say when we was kids, don't you don't want kitchens in your hair. Don't get no kitchens. If you know, you know. You know what a kitchen is. You know what a kitchen is. <laughs> but anyway, I got Psycho Man. They literally had the whole wave there for five ninety nine a piece. It's like they literally the only action figures out. Everything else was like Barney and Spidey and Friends and all that kind of stuff. It was all little kid toys. And then there was just a wave of this sitting out all piled on top of each other. And my daughter actually, 
I'm like, oh man, there's no um, human torch. And she actually found it around the corner, just sitting there. So five of them were stacked up and then the human torch was around the corner. So I literally got the whole wave, what, five, six times six, 36 bucks. And I get to open them. I already have my mint on card set. And I have all the exclusives, the Pulse exclusives too, like the Doctor Doom and shit. I'm, I'm not gonna open those. I have the Invisible Woman that's actually invisible. Those aren't gonna get open. I just wanted the, the normal ones to open. So I got Psycho Man, he's the villain. I got Mr. Fantastic. I don't remember guys, these people, these are all $5.99 a piece, man. And I just happened to stumble on them. Human Torch, I don't like this figure. Yep. Yeah. Fart Roulette begins too, by the way, at 555 in the video. Nice angel number right there, 555. But this figure, yeah, but you got to have him. He's part of the Fantastic Four. I do have the other exclusive, the Pulse exclusive, where he's just wearing the blue and white suit. But like I said, I'm not opening those. I paid up for those a little bit. I paid $30, $35 for him, so I'm not going to open him. I just wanted him to complete the set. Of the mint on card stuff they came in boxes like shipper boxes and all that so but i got invisible woman so that's good like i said all six of them for 36 dollars man you can't beat that i think probably when these came out i'm sure they were 24.99 so i just scored the whole wave for a figure and a half so high evolutionary this figure is another i don't like this version of him i actually like the version from the marvel movies i know a lot of people have Gonna hate that opinion, but I don't care. My opinion is my opinion. But the way that that black dude did High Evolutionary in that Marvel uh, Guardians 3 was actually pretty dope to me. And then I just wanna give a shout out to my wife, man. I love her. She tries so hard to think of things I would like. But like I said before, guys, she's very smart, very book smart. She does all her things in her doctor field and, and psychology and psychiatry and all that stuff she's she's that woman in that but she was out she texted me and said i got you a surprise i got you an action figure that i think you like she knows i like black panther so i have like a little setup of just black panther stuff i mean we won't get started on my opinion on that. I think it's one of the best Marvel movies there ever was. And now because I'm half black and all that, it's just a good movie. But we're not going to get into all that. But anyway, I'm a Blurman. So half black, half German. So I kind of hate myself daily. I don't know. This half hates this half. It's, it's a weird. But anyway, she's like, oh, I got you something. I'll show you when I get home. And God bless her heart for trying to surprise me and... I love her. Like I said, she bought me the sign. She'll every now and then she'll buy me like little random things if she's out and she sees something that she thinks I would like. So she buys me this, <laughs> this Black Panther action figure. Oh, I got Crow on in the background right now. You're muted right now, bud, but I'll go back and, and watch it for sure. This was your Saturday night stream right here. So um, just wanted to film this video, get it out of the way. But anyway, so she she <laughs> comes home with this. I'm out with my daughter. We're out shopping. This is the same time yesterday. We're out shopping and shit. And she she texts uh, me. Yeah, I got you a surprise over the last. So I'm like, oh, cool. I know it's some kind of toy or something because she wouldn't text me if it was like a jar of peanut butter. She because I love peanut butter, so she wouldn't text me. But I knew I had a feeling it was a toy. So she shows up with this, and I don't want to laugh at her too much. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Fought on that. Don't fought on my love for my wife. How dare you, machine? How dare you? But anyway, she tries her hardest, and I love her so much for trying to be involved and taking interest in things I like. But she shows up with this thing, man. <laughs> this thing. It's a Hasbro Black Panther with no articulation. I think the head turned. Nope. The head don't even turn, people. Oh yeah, it does, barely. And the arms move, but there's no leg articulation. So she thought this was a Marvel legend. That's all I got to say <laughs> to this. She's like, oh, it was cheap too. It was like $6.99. So I figured I was getting you a good deal. So she comes in my two toy rooms and thinks that I have things like these displayed. <laughs> and these are cool for little kids and stuff, but I'm gonna keep it because she blessed me with the honor of getting me a gift, but. 
this is her idea of a Marvel legend. So I just want to say that, you know, two people that don't like the same thing can be together. It's just funny to me that she thinks this is what I'm about, collecting figures with no knee art, no joints or nothing. It's just, but I, like I said a million times, I love her and I appreciate the effort, babe. So thank you. Just when I buy you a gift, it's like an expensive ass purse and shit. And then I show up with this, I get this, and I'll just play. <laughs> She'll never watch this. She don't uh, watch this kind of stuff. She's very shy. You think guys think I'm shy. She is the shyest person I've ever met. And that's one of the qualities I love about her. But anyway, let's get into some more Marvel pickups. I just thought that was funny. I picked this up off Hasbro. I got that um, shipment in from that, what was it, the power sale. I, so it was 35% off because I'm a member. So I ended up, they had some new things on there too. So I was like, I'll grab this. I don't like the whole wave, but I did want this figure, this Wolfsbane. And if anybody trying to build, a, what's this, Zabu, I'm definitely going to not need this. I'm not trying to build Zabu. So if you need the body, hit me up in the comments. Leave me a comment. We'll, we'll link up some way because I don't do social media or anything and people know that, but we will find a way to link up if you need this body, just hit me up. So I'm souped about her. I don't, I think she's part of X-Force, which I'm not gonna try to complete. I just like this figure. Even though I do like a lot of the figures from X-Force, I'm, I'm not gonna go down that um, path. I just like the, the wolf figure. I like the kind of animal figures and stuff like that. And then I've seen this, this was on sale too. So I've seen a lot of people have this, this is old, but I did think it was a cool figure. I think Aaron the Toy Enhancer did a review on it. And I remember seeing it and said, that's a cool figure. It kind of reminded me of Motu. So I got this Chris Star. He's cool. I mean, I don't know. You gotta build a figure pot in it too, the void. I'm not trying to build that thing. So it'll go in the bin. Hit me up if you need a void whatever he comes with, what numbers he come with, Chris Todd too. He comes with like back it, back tentacles or something. Um, then your boy screwed up again. Hasbro Pulse sale. Didn't realize I just bought this a couple days ago off Amazon for $9. Another Ant-Man, but I like Ant-Man, so I'll put it in the pile of doubles that I got, uh, I'm not gonna open it, I'm not, and I'll, maybe I'll use it one day for a giveaway. Speaking of giveaway, I just got to 222 subs. I didn't, um, I'm gonna make a, like a little post about it and everything, cause I did screenshot the, the, the screen when it was frozen on 2222, but I'm already past that, it's crazy. I'm like 10 or 11 past that already, and it's been a couple days, so shout out to everybody for subbing and, and liking the material, I guess. I'm just, humbled each and every day by this and like I these numbers aren't nothing compared to people that want numbers but 230 some people watching my opinion and my journey I'm all for it and thank you very much but I got this Ant-Man I'll add him so speaking of that we're gonna do a giveaway I'm gonna give away some toys I got some extra toys but it's gonna be at the 420 sub mark you know why <laughs> So 420 subs, if I ever get there one day, I doubt it. But if I ever do, I will be doing a toy giveaway. So if you're coming across this channel, just happen to see me and hear this message about the 420 giveaway sub, and maybe you'll win a, a toy. That's all I can say. Well, when I get closer, I'll give more details about it. But I got like seven or eight things I can give away. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. Just know that if I'm giving it away, it's cool because I don't buy shit that ain't cool. But anyway, Ant-Man, back to the pile. He'll be in that pile. I'm not gonna tell you what else is in there, but then I had to pay up. I'm, everybody know I'm all in on this Spider-Man retro card wave. I love it, I love it, I can't say it enough. Not as much as Classified or Mo2 or any of my top four, but I do, this is a, a five. This is number five for me. So I had to pull the trigger on this daredevil. I mean, I found this out in the wild at uh, my vintage toy store. Dude was asking 55 bucks for it. So I just grabbed it. This is one of the harder ones to get. I seen it on eBay and there are people asking 80, $89, 100. There's a few of them that are going for a hundred and for 55. And this is a hard to get figure. 
I definitely grabbed it. It was definitely worth the price to me. So another one checked off the list. I think I'm down to like eight or nine of them that I need. And a lot of them are Spider-Man. I need the Rhino. I did just pick up the Lizard off eBay. I got him for $49.99 with free shipping. So I figured it's like 40 bucks for that with the shipping. So that was definitely worth it. He was an expensive one. He's another one around 80 bucks. A lot of the ones I need are around 80. So if I find them for 50 something, I'm grabbing them just to avoid all the heartache and the searching. I'm not a big searcher for retro stuff because people be mocking it up. So I'd rather just wait on eBay and get a good price. I'm patient. I can wait for months. I, somebody's going to put one up there that they need to move real quick because they, they're in a jam and they need $55. So they, I'll just wait for that person to put that up. I don't need these things right away. Damn, I'm already at 16 minutes. It's going to be a long video, people. So I'm sorry. I picked up a lot of shit and I'm bullshitting as I'm talking. So hopefully that's why you watch me and you like the, the channels, the little quims and quirms that I spit out there in between these toys is what I'm about. It's just part of that journey. But also off the power sale, I picked up this. I've been eyeballing this. And then my man Savage Land threw me over the top for this. He just did a review on it. Not a review, but he kind of showcased it. And I told him in the video, I, in the comment that you have sold me on this, so I'm getting it now. And I did. I got the I Am Patriot. I like how my man Savage has like a little shelf with all the American flag figures. I'm not going to do all that, but I do like this figure. It's the um, Iron Manga just repaint it. So I have the Iron Manga over there. I like that figure a lot. I just wish it had more articulation, but this figure is definitely cool. I'm digging the paint job and it's nine inches tall. So that's cool. I like the bigger Marvel Legends. They're pretty cool. But shout out to Hasbro. This came in a shipper box and everything. I had no idea. This, and this thing is heavy, man. But I'm definitely going to save this box. I might go grab another one to just leave in the box. I mean, I know it's not going to be worth nothing. But if I see a dope box, I'll always grab another figure to leave in the box one day in case something ever happens. If I break it, I got one. But until I need to bust it out of that box, I have a, a nice box that I can have a showcase if I want to and stuff like that so definitely loving the, the artwork on it legal mush and your barcode no I'm just playing yo Joe Jerk I'm not gonna steal your shit man it's just that's hilarious to me but anyway more Marvel Legends this new wave showed up so I'm soup these are all getting open I got the Iron Man model 20 Everybody's seen this, so I'm just gonna power through these real quick. Got Iron Man Model 9. These are all gonna go on my eye with his disco hippie boots. These are all gonna go on my Iron Man show. Got the Model 1, the gold one. This is that same figure. I think I have like two different versions of this, but not in gold, so good reuse here, Hasbro. I'm not mad at it. All right, that's that stack. And then I got one more figure. I didn't buy the whole wave. I'm playing figure Jenga over here. There we go. That's tight. Don't pull. I got one more figure out of the wave. The one I wanted. I didn't get any of the villains. Count Nefario and Whiplash. I can live without. I don't. If it was like a new Whiplash from the um, MCU movie. Mickey Rock, I think his name was. Whatever his name is. That. Whiplash I would have got, but I don't really care for the Whiplash from like the 70s or 60s, whenever he's from. Like I said many a times, I'm not into the comics, but if it's a cool figure, I will grab it. And to me, my opinion only, not shit, not nobody's opinion, but I don't like the, the look of those two villains. <laughs> from this wave, Fart Roulette strikes again. But I got the She-Hulk. This figure is dope. I want to get another one for Mink on Car. This is the only one. I'm going to open this one, but I do want another one. I just love the artwork on these Iron Man cards. So I, I'm going to open them Iron Man. I'm not going to buy more of them, but I'm going to get one more She-Hulk and leave her on card just so I can have her remember, remember the artwork on these things. Damn, I got to speed this up. All right, I got this. We got a couple Star Wars pickup, pickups, power sale again i bought the balin skull full price 
passed on this figure, but for $8 off, I'll grab this Shin Hati figure. She needs to be next to him in the Sith um, shelf. She's a Sith, even though she's corny. I don't really like her like that, but she is a Sith, and I represent all Sith in the, my collection, even if they're corny. Um, what's this? Snow Trooper, First Order. Grab this on Amazon, $9. The Mad Fig Star Wars Black Series is going on sale on Amazon, guys. Pe keep peeping it every now and then. Every couple days, go on there and see. They're offloading Black Series. This this style of Black Series this is the old ones, I guess. When's this from? 2015. So they're offloading. They must have a shit ton of these in warehouses, and they're finally trying to get rid of them. This style box, whatever. This I don't know if this is the first rendition the first edition i don't know because up to two years ago i was just collecting three and three quarter joes so this is all these six inch action figures kind of got noticed by me when i started collecting classified then i just kind of abandoned everything and went into the 112 scale so now i'm collecting a lot of things from 112 i just like the posability it just gi joe classified sold me on the one six scale and I mean 112 scale and now I'm just going collecting a little bit of this and a little bit of that from it's all 16 now I do have a couple um no not 16 I keep saying that <laughs> see karma fought it on me for getting it wrong 112 scale things that's literally all I'm into now except I do have two 16 scale items on the way but you guys will see them when they show up I'm trying to keep them hush hush because they are just dope to me. And those are going to be the only two one six things I ever buy or own. But anyway, back to Star Wars. Two more pickups. Power sale, 35% off. You got to have some good guys for the Sith to kill. So these troop builders, I got a couple of these. I need people to get force choked and, and stuff like that. So that'll be these gentlemen right here. So I got those. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. I'm safe. All right. People know. If you don't know, now you know. I collect Transformers, but just the ones from the movie. 86 movie. So if it ain't from there, I don't really want none of it. Besides the Titan class, I do love them. I almost bought that big blue and white Omega Supreme, but I didn't like the fact that it was blue and white. They got it on clearance at GameStop for like one... 30 something down from like 274 or whatever it cost when it first came out. But I almost grabbed it, but then I Googled it and realized I thought it was Omega Supreme. It is, but I thought it was the brown and orange one. So I Googled it just to make sure to shell out that kind of money. And it was Omega Supreme, but it's blue and white. I don't, and they, he's called Guardian now. I don't want that. I want the, the brown and orange Omega Supreme Titan class, which I also looked up and it's like $600. So I don't know if I'll be getting that anytime soon. Unless I come across a good deal uh, at a, a little show or something I go to. Because I am going to try to go to some shows this summer. Just little ones. I want to start off small. See if my anxiety can uh, handle it. But I got Hound. Another Pulse Power Sale item. I think I got like $12 off this one. So, And peep this Hasbro. Notice this. One, two, three, four steps to transform this. That's what we need. Us 40 something year old men don't want to do a transformer that has 45 steps to, to transform it it's just not fun it feels like you're gonna break it i've transformed a couple of my titan class one time and i felt like i was gonna break them the whole time so love that four step transformer that's a dope idea keep going and then shane same time toys if you guys aren't sub to him sub to his channel he's putting out content like nobody's business so if you want to just watch content for hours hit hit him up and watch one of his playlists he's got content on all different range of figures for for days so but he he showcased these i found these at my walmart and i thought this was cool he had this the altered beast werewolf like i said i remember this being a sega game i never played it though because i'm not a video game head but this is a pretty dope little figure here for ten dollars i mean the articulation is pretty dope and they had the whole wave there 
I ended up picking up this. You guys remember this, you people? Streets of Rage, this game, kind of like the rip-off Double Dragon. I wish they had the other guy, though, but they didn't. I get maybe in the next wave or something. So I've got him and the Werewolf. And they also had the Metroid, which I used to love that game when I was a kid, but they had the wrong one. They had, like, the orange guy. I like the red Metroid dude, so I didn't grab it. I don't know how many are in the wave. I went on Walmart.com to see what is actually in the wave, and they didn't even have them listed online. What up with Walmart and Target having stuff in store, but it's not online for sale? It's weird to me, but if I got those two, they're just going to pop up on a little random shelf in here. And then, Manifestation People. In my last video, I was talking about Elvira, and I want to get a figure, the black and white um original figure and I walk into Target and it's right there. It's like manifestation hit me right in the face and it worked. I was literally just talking about this the day before. So this is by NECA. I'm actually souped. And shout out to was it Eric? No, my Python the Python told me this woman is actually 72 years old in real life. That's crazy to me. I was thinking mid 60s but <laughs> Pot Roulette is the champion today. It's hitting at all the right times. But anyway, Elvira got her. Can't wait to open her up, find a little place for her. She needs her own little, one of them little floating shelves with just her on it. I do have a little NECA shelf, but she's way too, she's not, she's way too cool to be on that shelf because it's the RoboCop and I got a Flash Gordon on there and stuff like that. Just shit I picked up that I, I like from NECA. But she needs a little floating coaster shelf or something. I'll find a spot in here somewhere and just put her up on that shelf by herself because she's cool. And then I got this. I'm not into this, but I did pick up, um, what's it called? Oh, a Displacer Beast. Um, from the Hasbro outlet sale. So I needed a, a figure. I thought that Displacer was cool. That It's like a panther with six legs and tentacles with teeth coming off the back. It's pretty cool. So I needed a figure to go with it just for a little pose out session. So I grabbed this and this would be probably the only figure I grabbed from this line, but I've seen multiple people. Actually, I might grab that strong heart. He looks pretty good. I didn't see him though, but I grabbed this War Duke. I mean, just the packaging alone. Like I said, if I'm not into it, if I like it, I will grab it. And I do like this. I've seen videos of it, but I never saw it in person. And this is a dope looking figure. It's by NECA and it's packaged kind of like an action figure. So hopefully it has way more articulate. Nope, no double jointed elbows, I noticed. No double jointed knees. So hopefully you can get this guy in some good poses. But NECA, when you put stuff in a package like this, Rather than the box, it should have a little more Arctic. This is, you're selling this as an action figure when it's on a card, like in a blister pack like this, in my opinion. Let me put this back down on the floor. Uh, I'll put it right there, that's good enough. And then I got some G.I. Joe pickups from that um, power sale. Guys, if you want to build up, no, I keep saying guys, I mean people, I'm so sorry. Um, I try to keep it real and I'm just rushing through this, but people, because I got men and women who watch this channel, so I do respect everybody. But anyway, I got three G.I. Joe pickups, and they were from that power sale. They had some figures that I, I needed. You can never go wrong. I got another trouble bubble. It's 55 I think. If you bought it through the power sale, you got $20 off, so I paid $35 for this, and I got another um, Televite myself. This will go into my uh, trouble bubble ranks. I just grabbed one because I, I already got four or five downstairs open. So this will make, it will even it out of six. I can have like them banking. I got all the stands and everything for them too from Hasbro. Those are dope ass stands for these. I picked them up, I think in a couple videos ago, but I would just have them, you know, six of them banking in like a V formation on my table or something. That's what I pictured in my head, five, it can done, be done, but I, I like it six, kind of maybe like a diamond pattern. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll, and if I remember, if I'm not stoned, I'll take a picture and show you guys. I keep forgetting to, you know, show what I'm doing with my table, but 
I just get zoot and go down there and just play camera, YouTube, none of that stuff comes into my head. I'm just doing it for me, you know, certain things that I don't want to keep private, but I don't want to put everything out here either, you know, I'm not that, I'm still a very private kind of man and stuff like that. But, and then I grabbed two figures. You know my rule, I never grabbed, if they have multiple head sculpts, I grab a figure for each head sculpt so I can display it that way. This figure I never did because I wasn't sure about her, but then I got her in, <laughs> got her in hand. She fought it on my neck. All right, that's enough fart. This thing is out of control today. This fart machine roulette, you win today. You just kept farting. You didn't even have a strict schedule. The eight minute rule was out the window. So I don't know what to do guys with this, but fart roulette is the champion today. But I got another Jody shooter because I she does have two head sculpts. I have her on right now with the gas mask. Like all my um, Night Force figures, they got the gas mask on. I got Big Ben in, in both poses, but I realized I needed another shooter and she was on sale. I get, when is it, 35% off 24. So I got her for 16 bucks, something like that. It's crazy. So more than less than that, 15, 70 something. I'm good at math in my head, but same thing with Grunt. I mean, I I got two of these. I already opened one because these are just Troop Builder green shirts to me. So got that. That's it. That's all I really got for pickups. I'm going to go open these. I got to add these to my book. Put my book out now. This is my G.I. Joe classified book. I think I showed this in another video, but I want to show it again. I got some new subs, so. They can see my methodical system. I got every figure I own for classified in here. I just, how many sealed, how many open, all that. Certain figures I don't got open that I'm, I'm not gonna open like um, right now, maybe one day, but like a Snake Supreme Cobra Commander, I don't need to open, have one open unless I come across a really good deal. But some Pentor I got open, and I got two in the box. Everything's two in the box. One to rocks, as I say. So I'll add these to the book. Add the Trouble Bubble to the book. But just a couple things I want to go over before I get out of here. This is already a long video, people. But I know everybody hates this. I hate it. You wake up in the morning, and you got Ghost Falls. If you don't know what a Ghost Fall is, if you collect action figures, every day before I leave for work, I have to go in my office, which is this room, and then all the way down into the basement and check who had a ghost fall. If I go to work and I don't forget, if I don't remember to check them, it bothers me all day. It's just some weird OCD type thing I got in my, my system. But I have to go down and check every day, not every day, but more days than not, there's always one figure that had a random ghost fall. And I just, like I said, it bothers me all day at work if I know somebody fell over and I'm not there to fix it up. When I come home, I check too. Usually nobody's falling. It's always overnight. So that's why I call it ghost falls. It's always when I wake up in the morning, like is there a ghost checking out my collection down there, playing with my classified and my Marvel legends and shit like that. So I just thought that was funny. And then something else I wanna go over, did everybody get their pre-order in for them Ghostbusters three and three quarter? figures they dropped yesterday if you did you did and if you're not into them you should probably get them anyway because they're dope little figures my only concern with that is ds had a video where he was reviewing the ecto-1 that just came out which i have both of them the weathered one and that one but the figures he tried to put a gi joe in there which is three and three quarters and it didn't fit in the back. I think they fit in the front, but he ended up breaking his childhood Doc figure, which is R.I.P. Doc, because you're one of my men from when I was a kid, but Hasbro, please make these figures fit in the back. I know they're three and three quarters, but you might have to jump, drop them down to 3.5 or something. They need to fit in the vehicle that you're selling. I mean, it's just a fact. You're going to lose people. You're going to lose interest in this line if they don't fit in the vehicle. So hopefully you guys can get that right and you know listen to the little guys out here that are actually buying your toys and representing you as a company. And then my opinion, I got one opinion on the new wave that I haven't gone over yet, which is the Stinger, which I think is dope. And 
you know, I think they're going to, a lot of people have been talking, it's going to be more. I hope it's going to be the $9.99 because they just should. I know it has a little more plastic with the missile rack and everything, but you've already established a principle, in my opinion, that a Jeep is costing $99.99. Yes, you change the colors, it got doors, it got a little more plastic, but you've already established that that type of vehicle is going to be $99.99. I won't be mad if it goes up to $109.99, but if you hit me with the $119 or 129 I'm going to be mad. I'm still going to buy them, but I'm not going to buy as many as I would. So just keep that in mind, Hasbro. And like I just said before, listen to the little guys, man. We're out here spending our money. This line's for four plus. How many four-year-olds are leaving comments on your videos and your um, live streams about what to do with this line? This line is for adult collectors and you know it. I know you're trying to market it as a four plus vehicle uh, figure line. That's why you get away with the gummy weapons and all that, which doesn't bother me at all. I'm just, I have a recent discovery of Valiverse weapons. So if I don't like the weapon with the figure, I will switch it out. I've already switched out some of my classified downstairs like Gung Ho, number seven. I got rid of his weapon because it was just trash to me. The figure's dope, but the weapons are trash. So he got all Valiverse. I did buy the um, Valiverse upgrade kit for him too. It's on the way. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on that figure, but because to me the sky blue don't really match with his pants or nothing, but the guns I'm gonna put with him. And yeah, I've got him holding some Valiverse guns for now. Shoot his rifle. I switched her sniper rifle. I switched that out for a Valor one. Had, I forgot what you call them big ass guns that they used to shoot from like two miles away, but she got one of them now. So. I don't mind the gummy weapons. I get what you're trying to do, but just recognize who your customer and your client base is. <clears throat> and then one more opinion, man. We all love the bats. I mean, I do. I can't speak for everybody, but BBTS on these Arctic bats, they, they, I need more. Everybody needs more Arctic bats. This was one of the worst releases of the whole line besides the Cobra Eel, which they are fixing now. <clears throat> so is Hasbro going to go back and fix this Arctic Bat situation? I mean, they should. These are troop builders. People want at least five of these, in my opinion. I want a lot more than five. But the date for the Arctic Bat has changed for the last three months. It was supposed to be here in February. It kept every month changes. They move it back a month. So now it's up to we're in June. So it's in. it says sometime in June. Like, what is going on with this? I need my Arctic Bat. Stop. I'm gonna leave my order open because I do want them that bad. I only have an order for five open on BBTS, so hopefully they come through eventually. Like I said, I'm a patient man, so I will wait, but what's going on, Hasbro? Give us some more Arctic bats. I know you you just use the mold for the um, Iron Grenadier bat, but don't stop the heat. Keep that, and I'll switch it back to the Arctic bat, please. We need these things. And shout out to everybody that's supporting me. Much appreciated as usual. Like I said, I I just did a post too. I'm gonna work on another episode of Posing Figs with the Valkyries today, later tonight. So hopefully that'll be up Monday morning. I'm gonna do a little short with my daughter. Don't worry, this ain't turning into Viper Island where I'm gonna have kids all over this channel and stuff like that. That's why I told her she wanted to do something with me. So I told her we'll do a short. And if I do do something with her in the future, do do, if I do do something with her in the future, it'll be a short. So it's not going to be this to me. This part of my YouTube is for adult collectors because I might say something that I don't want a kid to hear or something like that. And I just want to keep them separate. So hopefully you guys can still respect me. I'm like I said, I'm not going to sit up here and flaunt my kid and put the kid all over the channel because I don't believe in that either. I think that's wrong what that dude did and using his kid as a shield to protect him from all his lies is just ridiculous. But enough about that. We're at 39 minutes. I'm going to get out of here. Much appreciated. Thank you to all the supporters, all the channel mem not channel members, channel subscribers. And please like, comment, share, subscribe and check out everybody else's channel, man. Just one day, if you're bored, hit in, put in G.I. Joe, 
classified collectors collections reviews and see who pops up that's what i did two years ago and look at me now <laughs> i don't know if that's a brag but it, it didn't mean to be not look at me now i'm just i mean like the progression i would never be on a camera and now i'm on a camera talking about my favorite toy line so thank you for sticking with me if you stuck with this all the way to the end it is a long ass video but peace yo joe or something to that effect later people